Hello. Welcome to Joyful Angel Oracle. I am Angel Leodore. Thank you for joining me. The choices for the individualized oracle offering. Joy. Explore. Believe. We are calling on the energy oracle as offered by Sandra Ann Taylor as well as asking for supporting messages through the Psychic Tarot for the Heart, as offered by John Holland. I will open with the invocation. You can, if you like, set your intention and focus your awareness. I ask the divine energy of love that permeates the universe and bonds all in one to guide each of us seeking into the highest truth we are ready and willing to understand. And so it is. And the psychic to rule for the heart. I ask the divine energy of love that permeates the universe and bonds all in one to guide each of us seeking into the highest truth. We are ready and willing to understand. And so it is. In the position of joy, the energy oracle offers number 19, rest and rejuvenate. In the upright position, Sandra offers relaxation and meditation. This card shows a man in a meditative and tranquil state. The message here is that it's time to relax You may have been busy lately, but you should soon be finding time to just let go. When you do, allow yourself to go within and open up to the peace and wisdom that are vibrating there. This card upright indicates that there should be more leisure time for you now and more of an opportunity to engage in peaceful thinking. Make it a priority. Your connection to spirit brings great assistance, but it can only be achieved through regular relaxation and meditation. Now is a great time to make sure you insert this gentle activity into your daily life. In many ways, this is far more productive than unceasing action. And in affirmation, Sandra offers... I make relaxation a part of my daily life. Peace and quiet bring me clarity and joy. And the psychic to roll for the heart offers in support. Number seven, awaiting. Number seven, a physical. Awaiting results. Keywords, patience, assessment, outcome, alternatives. John Holland offers, you've put much energy into creating and attracting the relationships you desire and are eager to see positive results. Patience is needed, however. Reshaping attitudes and beliefs takes time. Refining yourself so that you'll attract just the right person is a process. If you find yourself becoming frustrated at the apparent lack of visible change, step back and focus on something other than your relationships for a while. When you're feeling more detached, you'll be in a better position to notice any improvements. If you've invested enough time, then take a moment to evaluate your progress. Are your efforts bearing fruit? 
Are you seeing the desired changes in your interactions with others? If yes, excellent. Carry on. If not, it may be time to shift your approach. Look for alternative strategies to affect the change you desire. What works with one person may not work with another. When working on yourself, be sure that you're being true to who you are and not simply following society's formula for relationships. In the position of explore, hmm. number 32, door to spirit. In the reverse position, Sandra offers spiritual awakenings and new beginnings. When this card is reversed, you may find yourself feeling an extreme disconnect. It seems your intuition is failing and you can't maintain the peaceful moments you are longing for. You may be too distracted by worldly matters or personal problems to arrive at and enjoy the deeper sense of your spiritual connection. The paradox is that the more you can let go of the drama, distraction, or intense emotions, the more your spiritual peace will bring you solutions for these issues. So relax and let go. Meditate on your soul self, your higher self that resides in your own heart center. Allow that connection to grow and you'll find that many new doors will open as a result. In affirmation, Sandra offers, I relax and connect with my spirit's wisdom and power. I live in the peace that my spirit brings and know that the world of spirit supports me. The Psychic Tarot for the Heart offers in support The two of mental, refusing to see. Key words, assess, decide, impasse, honesty. This card speaks about how important it is to see relationships as they really are, rather than how you'd like them to be. This is not always an easy or comfortable thing to do. However, in order to make correct decisions in a relationship, you must be clear about it. Are you maintaining the status quo even though the current situation may not meet your needs? Are you at an emotional impasse in a matter of the heart? At this time, you may be withdrawing emotionally from a relationship or need to make a decision regarding that relationship. This does not serve your best interests. You must open your eyes and your heart to the truth. By honestly assessing the situation, you'll know what you need to do. Knowing the truth will make your decision easier and will lead you to more fulfilling relationships. Hmm. Believe the Energy Oracle offers number 13 financial constraints in the reversed position. Restrictions concerning money. This card reversed portends an increase in the money about to come your way. The previous constrictions have broken open and there's a greater flow of money and other things as more funds come in, you'll find that you have the freedom to take more risks and spend without previous extreme precautions. The river of abundance is starting to flow your way. But don't be too cavalier. Always bring your consciousness to this and every aspect of your life. In affirmation, Sandra offers, I can move through any cycle with dignity and awareness. I am open to receiving increasing wealth. Money moves to and through my life, bringing benefits to all. And the Psychic Tarot for the Heart offers in support 
the eight of spirit, success, and growth. The key words, accomplishment, speed, resolution, progress. The energy of manifestation is around you now, and you're being moved forward in a positive way. Stay focused on your heart. When this card appears, success is at hand, and it may happen quickly. Your past efforts are being rewarded. This is a time of new, flourishing relationships and successful resolutions to conflict and struggle. This is also an ideal period for greater understanding and personal growth. Listen expectantly for messages that will help you see yourself and others in a fresh and positive light. These messages can come from anywhere. Your spirit, guides, nature, books, or even a television program. They bring new beliefs about love and what is possible. Old ways of thinking and being are coming to an end. Plant these new ideas as seeds and watch them take root and grow. May the day before you offer all that you need to expand into the growth to embrace the adventure before you. Be well. You are loved. You are so appreciated. And I will join you again tomorrow.